Hey guys, I want to share something with you. A supernatural move of God. And I know this camera doesn't do it justice. Excuse me. The weather report said partly cloudy skies today. So we should be seeing a blue sky with partly cloudy skies. You know, we all know what partly cloudy is. But I couldn't help but notice today, like it, it literally caught my attention. I was going to do a video on it, like what is going on? It's just a blanket of mist. It literally looks like a thunderstorm could just break out at any second. There's not a trace of blue sky in the air, yet the sun is still shining through this mist. This is not in the weather report. And so I'm laying here and I asked God, I don't know if people can understand what I'm saying, but it really caught my attention today. Like, that is weird. Like, this is weird. I thought it was just a complete, like, overrun, you know, overdoing the chemtrails. Because it, it's just, it's not cloudy because the sun is shining right through the clouds. It's just, it's very strange. Enough to catch my attention today. Like, this is weird. So I'm laying here and I asked God and I felt like he was telling me, okay, well, all right. I know he was telling me it was a confirmation from the word given this morning. It was a warning. This is a warning. And, and for those of you who can't discern that 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 word was for um, our governments or what, you know, um, you know, our according governments who are watching over uh, God's people and have um, and sold and and committed harlotry and, and gone with the devil. And um, I don't want to get into that rabbit hole, the wickedness that that's going on, the end game that they're they're planning on having, but that's not going to happen. Um, God showed me this is a warning to change in the weather. We're supposed to have partly cloudy skies today. And it just looks like a thunderstorm could break out at any second. The sun is still shining through the clouds, so it's not even cloudy. It's very strange. It's very strange. And God showed me that this is unplanned weather, a supernatural warning. So um, I don't know if people can perceive this. But I don't know. Very strange. Okay, I just wanted to share that. Glory be to God. He does do the, he does do these things, guys. Um, you know, have courage. God. I just want to give some encouragement. Like, guys, we are precious in His eyes, especially when we're faithful to Him, and we don't serve other gods. We are, and, and we do His will, the best we know how, the best we can, and we give our lives for Him. He will change the weather for us. He's done it to me numerous times. And, you know, ways I haven't even perceived. But um, I'll give some examples. When I first came to New York City, well, actually the time leading up to me coming to New York City, when I had to stay in Long Beach, it, it was the first time I, I, I was out of my house in years. He sealed up my home. I was allowed to leave my home. Because every time you turn your head, the gang stalkers would come into the house and, and wreak havoc and do terrible things. Um, so he unsealed my house. And the only logical place for me to go would be Long Beach. Because that's the furthest away in Long Island. The only place you could really get away from traffic. And so I was pretty much living at Long Beach and going home at night mostly except for one night or two. I stayed I stayed overnight at the beach for a night or two, and then I would go home then. But we would have abnormal weather that month. It was in September. That month was like another summer, and my stepmother was dying, who lived here in New York City. And the day she died, it literally, that very day, it got too cold for me to be going to the beach. And it just made a way, and it opened up the door for me to go into New York City. And he literally ushered in perfect, fragile timing by thin, by 
a hairline um, away from the enemy's grasp. And when I, after I first came to New York City that first winter, because I just dreaded going, because Long Island is bad, guys. Um, it is bad there. It is, you know, you will die there. Um, it is bad. And um, he, he revealed to me he made it not snow, you know, because the way, you know, I had to juggle, like, you know, none of my family understands what's happening with me. They just think everything's normal. So I had to juggle all this. And if the snow fell, I would have to go back to Long Island and, and plow the snow for my dad. Um, plowing, you know, shoveling and plowing snow could kill me. Because what the enemy does, they'll take the plow trucks and after you're done, they'll just scoop it right up with all the ice and you have to do it. You know, it could literally kill you. I've had, I've had to have su supernatural strength of God to, just to be able to shovel snow uh, to get through that stuff. And the Lord... You know, when I first came to New York City, he he told me, he's like, I, you know, it, it, I made sure to not snow on your behalf. That you didn't have to go back there. And this is the lengths he goes um, for the relentless um, and treacherous ways of our enemy. And the enemy should be quaking in fear from that. It's not a light thing. But this is how good our God is. Um, it makes me tremble for our enemy. That he does these things. And so here we are. This is supernatural weather. Not planned in our forecast. And it's absolutely prophetic. It's like a thunderstorm could break out at any second. It's just. It's that. You know. I don't. You know. The, the atmosphere is just that active. You can cut it with a knife. And it's not forecasted in the weather. We're supposed to have partly cloudy skies today. Mostly sunny. And he showed me that was a confirmation of the word given this morning. Supernatural, unforecasted weather. So I just wanted to share that, guys. I just hope it's an encouragement. Have faith in your God. Okay? And I pray those who have sold out the devils and still putting a smile on their face, trying to deceive those who are undiscerned and, and the whole game being played, um, I, I pray that they come to repentance. Come on, this, this, what the apostasy going on in the body of Christ is in the Bible. It's all over the Bible. It doesn't work out for those who um, have turned their back on God, who will not put their hope and trust in the Lord for, you know, for whatever reason. So I, I really pray people repent. I mean, just to find out the moral of the story is the devil is a liar. I mean, is that. Is that what you want to find out at the end when this is done? Because you're believing demons, what demons say to you? You're believing what demons say to you? Give me a break. Please, I just pray in Jesus' name that the apostates and those struggling surrender their hearts to the Lord. Whatever is going on with them, Lord, you guide their hearts, you soften their hearts. May we all surrender to your will. If it's the Lord's will, let us rejoice. And we pray that he undoes the snares of our enemies because they have something wicked planned. Everyone knows it. But I, I really think God has other plans. I, you don't want to be going... It just... I, I, I... My soul cries... For my brothers and sisters who have gone apostate. To like the truth. If, if people understand what's really going on. The murder in their hearts. The cowardice of being. Of selling out to demons that are liars anyway. For frivolous lustful. Uh, ways of the flesh or. Whatever the case may be. I don't want to judge but. My soul cries. I, I saw it in Jeremiah. The sword may pierce your soul because that is the imagination of your own heart against your own people. And so you, you know, it is biblical. I'm, I'm not judging because I'm not God, but it is biblical that you will have to taste the imagination of your own heart. If that's what is okay with you for to have your brother, you know, go on the cross so to speak and and you just get off scot-free and 
and walk away with the devil, you think God is not going to make you taste the imagination of your own heart. And you think the sword will not touch your soul. I don't know. I just pray in Jesus' name people repent and come to their senses and rely on the living God who is faithful and 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 saves and he delivers. He is mighty to save. He is mighty to save. This stuff is all over the Bible. It's in Daniel. It's in Jeremiah. The apostasy that's going on. It's there, guys. It doesn't work out for the apostates. I'm going to go. Thank you for tuning in. Y'all bless you.